My name is Jonathan Twining and I teach environmental science at Eastern Nazarene College. I'm passionate about wetlands called vernal pools and the species that make them home. Join my students and I as we explore these habitats in this series called Vernal Pool Chronicles. I'm on the hunt to learn more about an elusive reptile called the spotted turtle. I've decided to enlist the help of a friend at the South Shore Natural Science Center in Norwell, Massachusetts. Hey, Chris, Hello. how's it going? Good, how are Good you? Good to see you again. What do you got for me today? I have a couple of spotted turtles here. All right, that's awesome. All right, I'll get one to you to hold. That's great. I think we're going to go around back and we'll take a few shots and talk a little bit about these turtles. Sure. What do you think? Awesome. All right. Well, I'm here at the uh, South Shore Natural Science Center with my friend Chris Jacobs. She's a naturalist here at the center. And she's brought along a male and a female spotted turtle so we can see what they look like and learn a little bit more about them. Hi, Chris. Hi, how are you today? Not too bad. It's a nice day out today. Excellent. So the first thing I noticed, Chris, is that these turtles are very small. They're only about four to five inches in length. And the carapace, or the upper part of the shell, is black. And then the underside, or the plastron, has orange and black in different arrangements. So no two turtles are going to be the same. And then I also noticed that the carapace is covered with these black, uh, these yellow dots, and I understand that the more yellow dots there are, the older the turtle is. Now, Chris, how would we go about telling whether you have a male or a female? Well, I have the male here, and you can tell it's a male. It has a dark, almost black chin. It has brown eyes. Uh, its tail is very thick and long compared to the females and when I turn it over it has an indented pl plastron which helps in the mating process. And if you look at the female she has a more orange colored chin, orange eyes, a short stubby tail which is tucked in at the moment and her plastron is very flat. Now, Chris, if I was looking for these in the wild, where would I go? Where should I look? Sure, well, these turtles um, prefer a habitat that is shallow water with a lot of vegetation, similar to like maybe a vernal pool, um, bogs, swamps, um, areas like that. And what would they be eating? Sure, well, in the wild, they're gonna be eating uh, worms, slugs, um, tadpoles, uh, egg masses of frogs and salamanders. They'll also eat um, aquatic vegetation and aquatic insect larvae as well. well. One last question, how do you use these turtles in your education programs here at the South Shore Natural Science Center? Well, when people think of turtles in Massachusetts, they often think of snapping turtles and painted turtles, and they don't realize we have several other species in our backyards. And so it helps us teach folks why it's imp important to conserve the habitat in our backyards and in Massachusetts. Well, that's really awesome, and I really appreciate the mission of the center and all that you're doing to teach people about wonderful species such as the spotted turtle. Well, thanks so much for taking your time to show us these spotted turtles today, and good luck with uh, your ongoing mission here at the center. Thanks. Well, we know that spotted turtles do like to hang out in vernal pools, but sometimes they can be pretty hard to find. So I've come out to a place where I'm pretty sure we can find some spotted turtles today, and that's Fowl Meadow at the western end of the Blue Hills Reservation. Fowl Meadow is an important area of critical environmental concern, constituting the largest wetland and floodplain area in the basin of the Neponset River. 
An eight-mile stretch of the Neponset River flows through this area. Its marshes and floodplains provide habitat for birds and a variety of reptiles and amphibians. In order to find spotted turtles today, I'm going to have to walk slowly and carefully along this path called Burma Road, keeping an eye on the edge of the marsh where the turtles sun themselves in the morning. The only problem is there's a lot of bordering vegetation, so I'm going to have to look carefully for the turtles through leaves and branches and try to film them through these obstructions. As I look through the vegetation, I finally see my first spotted turtle of the day sunning himself on a log near the water. But as I search for more of these reptiles, they prove to be elusive. Oh, it's so hard to get these little spotted turtles on camera. They just hear you coming and bloop, right back into the water. But we're going to keep trying. My patience and perseverance begin to pay off, and I'm able to see several of these turtles as the morning wears on. I suspect it's getting to be a little bit too hot for the turtles. It's supposed to have a high of around 90 today and it's warming up pretty quickly. So before it gets too hot for me, I'm going to go on down Burma Road here, the path at the foul meadow that you can follow. And I'm going to see if there's any snakes out or maybe some other wildlife. It might be too hot, but we're going to check it out anyway. I make the decision to walk in the grassy areas in the floodplain along the Neponset River. I stumbled across this garter snake, warming itself in a sunny patch between some shrubs. These are just about the most common snake you're going to find in this area. As I continue on, I stumble across a group of woodcock hiding in plain sight. The camouflage pattern on these birds helps them to blend into their surroundings. I come to a ponded area and suspect there might be some wildlife along its banks. Sure enough, I find several green frogs basking in the morning sun. These frogs are voracious predators, eating insects, tadpoles, or just about anything that will fit in their mouths. In a grassy area by the water's edge, I spy a northern water snake. Often mistaken for the venomous water moccasin found in states south of Virginia, this snake is common around vernal pools, wetlands, and ponds in New England. Well, we were able to find some spotted turtles today, along with some snakes and some frogs. I hope you enjoyed the time that we had here at Fowl Meadow in the Blue Hills Reservation. And hopefully we can come out again another day and see some more spotted turtles. Pools are a special part of the New England landscape. We hope this program will help you to appreciate these habitats and the species that use them. Join us next time for another episode and thanks for watching.